It was late Monday that the news broke. Winnie Madikizela Mandela, South African icon in her own right, had passed away at the age of 81 at a local hospital. Twitter users responded immediately and tributes came pouring in under numerous hashtags from RIP Winnie Mandela to Mam Winnie. South African politicians shared their shock at the news. DA leader Musi Maimani shared this tweet. EFF leader Julius Malema shared this blank page with broken hearts, while other members of parliament shared moments they had shared with the icon. Even some South African sports stars shared their memories and moments that showed how Mum Winnie had touched their lives. It was only a few hours to a day later that African politicians responded to the news. The president of Ghana, Nana Kufu Ado, said her name will echo through the ages. Ugandan President Yaweri Museveni saluted her contribution to South Africa. Kenyan President Uru Kenyatta said that his nation had joined in mourning with South Africa. And Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari described the death of Winnie as a huge loss to Africa. Africa, many were celebrating in her achievements, saying how her life has impacted them. Others said not enough was said about her accomplishments while she was alive. In Zimbabwe, activist and outspoken critic of former President Robert Mugabe, Pastor Evan Mawarire hailed Madikizela Mandela. You cannot outsource your struggle. Your struggle is yours. Winnie Mandela exemplified that. She refused to give up her spot to fight for her freedom to someone else. She refused to subcontract the future that she was fighting for to someone else, to an organization, uh, you know, uh, uh, to negotiate her somewhere. She wanted to be at that table. This is what the generation of freedom seekers and those that fight for justice in our generation must understand. Nobody will do it for us. We must be present ourselves. We must be present on the field of battle. We must be present at the table of negotiation. Mandela's passing became news on the streets. Basically, it's an African thing, and it's unfortunate, I must say, that in which part of the world we are in, we don't value people who tend to come out to do the right thing, especially women. It was not the only continent that mourned and celebrated Madiki Zela Mandela's life. On social media, more than 400,000 tweets were sent about Mandela's passing in the United States, followed by the United Kingdom. The likes of Reverend Jesse Jackson said in the darkest hours of the struggle to free South Africa, with Nelson Mandela in prison, the face of hope and courage was Winnie Mandela. May she forever rest in power. An activist, Maxine Waters, who said she was mourning the loss of her dear friend. Celebrities such as model Naomi Campbell also shared her personal memory. She said, I cherish the time I spent with you, embracing me in your family home. And even actress Viola Davis shared her words of power. The news of Winnie Madikizela Mandela's passing didn't skip the front pages of global newspapers, from the UK's The Times and The Daily Mirror to a blog site in Germany. It's been a busy two weeks on social media. Over 1.5 million people mentioned Winnie Madikizela Mandela in their social media posts. This, in turn, meant that 5.6 million people spoke about Winnie Mandela.